Yee-haw! And welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious, and Crumble is really just not a cookie place anymore. They are pushing these non-cookie desserts, and now they're pushing two at a time. I will say, we finally got a new cookie. Finally. And I tried it as a tester, like, forever ago. I feel like it's been almost a year. Um, and, and I loved it. I thought it could have, I think my one issue, it could have used more banana flavor. Um, and we'll, we'll see what we get here. But, man, they have, it's crazy. I think this lineup's good. Very good. Um, I've had the lemon cake. I've had the Bonofi pie. We know how good Oreo is. We could just throw peanut butter in the trash. Come on now. We, we know that's just a basic, boring flavor that we don't need in our lives. And, you know, make life a little bit easier for yourselves. But maybe not for crumble employees. I don't know. I got I to gotta say, it's a huge, huge shout out to this uh, location in uh, Virginia Beach, Pembroke off of Constitution. Man, oh man, these guys are just great. They are fantastic. Um, I never have a wait in the morning. It's just crazy. And I feel bad for them because again, a new cookie, two non-cookie desserts, and they're still hammering it out. And it's only like two or three of them. It's crazy. But it kind of, you know, if you hire the right people, the right things get done. So, um, just keep that in mind. Maybe even, you know, it, it, you don't even have to hire one good person. They'll train everybody and get them on a roll. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, cookie butter tres leches. That's what we're starting with. So, it's tres leches. It's a cookie butter tres leches. It's a cake with cookie butter flavor. So, let's see about this. I'm utterly shocked. I am utterly shocked. Because, you know, I'm thinking, okay, how are they going to get this? How are they going to... This thing is just soaked in cookie butter flavor. It's not just soaked in milk. This thing is just... Oh, my. Oh, my. Crumble does it again. Oh, my. That's easily easily a 10 no doubt go get you some, i mean that's a unique dessert too it's not like you see that at every bake shop so i would like to see them do a cookies and cream chest such as and the reason is is because Publix did it and Publix every time i go to Publix and get a chest like just kick trash it is trash but that is just so so moist so rich in the the, the cookie butter flavor, the spices and and just the butteriness of it. All right, I'm sorry. This is lemon cake. Um, I was I thought it was okay last time I tried it. I tried it as a tester, um, but I don't know. We're, we're gonna try it again. Okay, I think it's definitely better than last time. I was nervous, I was cautious, was like, hmm. Kind of light, kind of airy. Um, not too lemony. And then it started working its way through. I was like, yep, yep, there there it is. Very lemony, very sesty. Very one-dimensional, though, right? It's got that, and I think it's got cream cheese on it. Um, you know, it's got a sesty, tangy flavor. And it's good. But it's simple. I give it an eight and a half just because, again, you're not, it's not so dynamic like cookie butter, trash like this, um, where you got a lot of richness going into it. It's good. It's, it's definitely, you know, light, fluffy, and, you know, creamy. But, you know, I've, I've had better desserts. But it is definitely better than last time. It just wasn't quite lemony enough. And I probably gave it like a seven. So this time it definitely steps up to the plate. Okay. Banofi pie. Banofi. All right, so what is it? I think it's basically, as far as the crust goes, like a graham crust. It's got caramel, a layer of banana frosting, and then some whipped cream and chocolate flakes. It's a little bit of chocolate, not, not too much to it. Um, this one, just 
so good last time I had it. I thought there was more chocolate on it last time. Like there was like a layer of chocolate. And I can't remember for sure. But this thing has a lot of promise to it, right? There's so many different dimensions of flavors. And that's why I rated it so high is because it is a complex cookie. It's, it's you know, it's got a lot of different aspects to it. And the only issue for it not being a 10, I probably gave it like a nine and a half. The only reason I didn't give it a 10 is because I want more banana out of it. So we'll probably end up in that same situation again, but hey, it's fine. Hmm. It feels like there's just not as much on it as when I had it last time. It's still very good, right? The gram, the caramel, the banana is pretty solid but again i think it's lacking on that banana aspect of it and i just want more on top right i want a little bit more layer of caramel a little bit more a lot more banana frosting um but it's not leaving me like in love like i was a while ago i'd still give it a solid eight right it's still dynamic very tasty um but it feels like just a more limited version of what I had. So, come on, Crumble. Do a little bit better on your cookies, bro. All right. Um, chocolate crumb cake. We call this Oreo because it's an Oreo base with cream cheese. You could call it Oreo cheesecake. And, you know, there's this guy who constantly harasses me on TikTok about how... Where did my knife go? I just had... It. Oh. All right, this guy on TikTok constantly harasses me and keeps making burner accounts. He claims himself to be a chef um, because I called Oreo cheesecake an overrated tangy mess. And he keeps saying, well, that's my favorite dessert. That's the best dessert from Crumble. I'm like, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry if you think that it's the best. That's cool. That's good for you. But I just, it's too, the, the. And I'm not talking about this cookie right now. I'm talking about the cheesecake, the actual cheesecake. This is a better representation of Oreo cheesecake than that daggone dessert. I ate that dessert of six. It's okay, right? But I've had better Oreo cheesecakes. Come on now. This cookie, moist, delicious. Oreo, cream cheese. Let's go. Mmm. Again, just the combination of those two flavors. The melty gooey Oreo with that sweet creamy icing. Um, would I like buttercream more? Maybe. Or maybe even like marshmallow frosting. I know they do mallow sandwich. I know that. But like this melty cookie with mallow would be more interesting than a dry cold cookie, right? I even say this is better than mallow. I do think I like like our birthday Oreo and pumpkin Oreo. I've liked those better. I'll give this a solid eight and a half too, right? It's good, very solid, has its limitations, but it's good, right? You can't go wrong with it. All right, so one last cookie, peanut butter. And you know what? I can't shame Crumble for doing peanut butter this week because the rest of the menu is just absolutely ludicrous as is. So just throw in a, a basic cookie that nobody's gonna buy and call it a day that's that was that was the best thing that could have come out of this lineup is if you're gonna do five flavors and go crazy with them then at least give your employees one little nugget of of, of, of a break so peanut butter classic peanut butter soft sweet salty not gooey um slightly dry but, you know, if, if you want to get creative, buy a peanut butter cookie and have some fun with them, put something on top, you know, be creative. You can. That's, that's up to you if you want to pay $5 for one of these. For me, it's a 5 out of 10, right? I'm not going to go below a 5 because it's good, right? It tastes good. It's enjoyable enough. But it's so bland. It's so one-dimensional. There's just nothing to it. So that is peanut butter in a nutshell. Get it in a nutshell? Because peanuts are in a, in a shell. Yeah. Um, anyways, interesting. That would, a peanut butter tres leche cake would be interesting too. 
Crabble, I hope you're taking notes. I know, I know. It, 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 you guys don't want trash sites and everything, but I do, I do. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see y'all around.